all right so here are my profits for the week ending december 24th so close the week with a net of 329 dollars us the gross for this week was about 392 so I only spent about 63 dollars in commissions but the 63 dollars in commissions represent about 16 percent of the profits all right so let me go through my trades so if you remember this RH put spread, it was a put spread that I rolled before earnings. So it's a put spread that I opened before earnings, but I opened it a little bit too early. The stock continued to drop during the day before earnings when it was announced. So I decided to roll it and then open a separate trade for earnings. So this was the rolled trade. It, it was a put spread for January 8 at 415, 410 put spread. I think RH was trading at around 460 this week. So I closed it December 22nd. So I've held the trade. I've been in the trade for 13 days. I closed it for 56 cents. So it's not a big profit. It gives me a net profit of $37. But the reason I just decided to close it is because I wanted to reduce the amount of open trades I had. I felt like I had too many open trades. Plus this trade, I was just trying to save it. I already had another put spread on RH that was a winner after earnings. So I just wanted to clean it up. It was slightly profitable, so why not? In terms of percentage, I mean, it collected a dollar six, closed it for 56 cents, so almost 50%. But, but because of commissions, I'm left with 37 net. Now this put spread on snow, I don't remember when I opened it. I opened it December 11. I don't remember why though. Either snow dropped, snowflake dropped, so I opened a put spread on it, or either it was a trade... Uh, before earnings that I rolled. I think it was a trade before earnings that I rolled. Uh, so I rolled it to January 15, 265, 260. Uh, and I closed it for 40 cents. So I collected a dollar. I closed it this week for 40 cents. So I've held, I've been in the trade for 11 days. Net profit of $47. So Lightspeed was a trade that I opened December 21st. It was a naked put. I did two contracts. Collected a dollar 90. So this was December 21st. So on Monday, and I was able to close it the same day. So z days held zero because I closed it the same day, December 21st. I closed it for $1.10. So made a net profit of $1 of $147. Now, of course, if I held it just the Friday, not even January 15, but just to December 24th, let's just see what it's trading at right now. So you can see the 50 put is trading for about 50 cents. Let's say 40 cents price in the middle. I closed it for a dollar ten. Now, if I just held it on to held on to it till Friday, could have closed it for forty cents. That would have been a two hundred eighty seven dollar net profit. Would have given me four hundred sixty nine dollar net profit for the week. So you could see that I tend to close my trades a bit too early, and I just don't learn from my mistake. But it is harder. It's easier said than done. Regardless, can't complain. I think it was my most profitable trade of the week, and I closed it the same day. So didn't have to wait an extra three or four days december 22nd so on tuesday i opened a naked put on fubo tv at a 30 strike opened it for dollar 50 ended up closing it the next day so one day hold close it for 88 cent that gave gave me a 50 dollar net profit and then an amazon put spread that i've had for way too long and i and i don't like opening spreads that have more than one week expiry but iv was pretty low so i had to go all the way to january i opened it november 30th to Jan with January 15 expiry, closed it 23 days later. So I collected $1.50 and I was only able to close it for 90 cents. So not even a big profit, but $47 net profit. So that's how I got my 329 for the week. Not as high as uh, last week, but can't complain. As long as it's a profitable week, as long as it's not a losing week, that's even more important, I should be happy. Now at the bottom here, these are the trades that I still have open. So as you can see, I've got about 13 open trades. Some of them are showing small profits, but not enough to close entirely, especially with commissions. If I should, and if I really want to learn from my mistakes, I should hold on to the trades a little bit longer just to collect some more premium. Although sometimes I do regret holding trades too long because the longer you are in a trade, the more exposed you are to the craziness of the market. And I'll give you an example with that later on. So my open trades, I've got a CRM put spread at 225, 220. I think this was a rolled trade as well. Collected $1.07. I think CRM right now is trading at around um, 228, I think. Not enough to be closed. Hopefully I can close it this week. I've got NVIDIA that I opened December 9th with a January 15 expiry. 
collected a dollar at a 475 470 uh, strike so this one should be a winner if nothing crazy happens i'm still not able to close it for 50 percent profit i've got an amd covered call in my tfsa so this is i'm simulating a naked put here or a cash secured put i sold the 85 strike so amd was trading at around 92 i sold the 85 strike so this is an in the money covered call i paid 83 dollars to get into this trade so i sold the 85 covered call and I paid 83. So basically my max profit on this trade is the difference. 85 minus 83, which gives me $2 or $200. But that's if I hold the trade till January 15. I plan on getting out before January 15 if I have the opportunity. If I can close it for $84. So I bought in for 83. I can sell for 84. That will be a $1 profit. I've got two puts. Two, so two contracts on Corsair. Naked puts at a 35 strike collected two dollars and 30 cents each contract uh, i think it's a little i think it's tested actually so this one's worth 290 right now so i'm losing on this put on this naked put but it's a naked put if anything i can roll easily expires january 15 hopefully next week it goes up i've got another naked put on sumo logic i did one contract only collected two dollars and ten cents expires january 15 i think this one's at break even right now i've got two contracts of fubo tv naked put at a 30 strike collected a dollar 50 and i think it's and i think the put is trading a little bit higher not that much i think it's trading at a dollar 60 right now so these are slightly losing but not ready to be closed of course but they're all naked puts and then these ones here are, are all put spreads i've got a put spread on zoom that i opened december 24th at a 330 325 strike zoom, zoom was trading at around 380 on uh, thursday so i it, it dropped a little bit i think it dropped almost six percent on thursday so i decided to sell a put spread an out of the money put spread at 330 to give myself a, a good chance of winning for january 22nd collected a dollar now baba baba dropped hard on thursday i think almost 20 percent so i went from 256 to 216 in one day so I sold a put spread lower at a 200 strike. So 200.195 for January 22nd expiry. So 30 days to go or even a little bit less than 30 days to go. Collected a dollar three. Now, if you remember, I already had a put spread on Baba at 255.250. This was a rolled put spread. So this initially was a weekly put spread. As you can see, I, op as you can see, I opened November 10th. And for the expiry of that same week, I had a 255 strike. And I, or a 250 strike actually and i was worried about it so i decided to roll it because baba dropped 252 so i decided to roll it all the way to february 19 i and i rolled it to 255 250 so i think i went higher and see now the the more time i spend in the trade the more exposed i am to the craziness of the market now baba dropped from 256 to 218 and i think it closed on thursday at 222 so now this trade is completely breached and even if i try to sell a call spread against it it's going to get me maybe 60 cents or something from 60 cents to a dollar i do have a way of managing this trade but i'll talk about it in a different video when i actually do it right now i'm still holding on to it because i still have until february 19 who knows it might come back up by february 19 i still have a lot of time to go so it could come back up right it closed at 222 so i'm not going to do anything right now but if anything i i do have a plan for it i've got a put spread that i opened december 24th as well on beyond meat because it dropped a little bit i went to the 115 strike and i collected a dollar two for the february 19 expiry i've got an adobe put spread so this was earnings related that i rolled so my net credit on this is a dollar 39 expires february 19 my short strike is 465. Adobe keeps trading between 495 and 505. So I thought about getting out of the trade for a small profit, but I feel bad wasting a good opportunity. It feels like it could be a, an easy winner. So I'm going to hold on to it and see what happens. And I've got a Moderna put spread at 90.85 strikes, collected 98 cents for February 19 uh, expiry. So Moderna keeps dropping if, even after good news. So I decided to sell an out of the money put spread giving myself enough time for the stock to come back up and hopefully for the options to decay. And finally, December 22nd, I sold a put spread on P PDD at 115, 110 strike for February 19 as well, collected a dollar. And when I sold this put spread, it was trading at around 140. 
and it actually went up when BABA dropped on Thursday. So PDD went to, I think it closed above 150, but not enough for me to close the trade. But at least it, it should be, hopefully I can close it next week. All right, so these were my trades for last week. And these are currently my open trades. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Like always, if you can open an account with QuestTrade to trade on the stock market, use my referral link below to get $50 in free trades. Also check out the other referral links below to help support the channel. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button, share with a friend, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.